Hello viewers and welcome to the first boss of Wario Blast featuring Bomberman, the aptly titled Cup King. I suppose that Konami or whoever actually made this game was kind of taking a break on actual names, considering that the name didn't actually make it onto the cartridge and I had to look that up on Wikipedia. The Cup King, or the Coffee Master, or the Coffee Blaster, or the Pig Cup, or whatever the hell you want to call him, is our introduction to how Wario Blast bosses are going to work, and they are basically like the main parts of the game, except that the bosses are equipped with a lot more attacks, can drift over the obstacles, Obstacles, making them quite hard to hit since their hitboxes are hidden by them just floating all around the battlefield. It's going to be a consistent problem with all the bosses, but that's just something we're going to have to deal with. Thankfully, at the start, Wario Blast provides the player with literally all the power-ups to get up to room-filling bombs immediately, so you don't have to worry about that, considering there are no destructible obstacles that you have to deal with. And the only thing that the Cup King can do is that he throws projectiles projectiles at you that does run the course and I think disappear if they're not if they don't hit you fast enough so it's not as hard as it looks especially since the cup king throws out multiple projectiles at the same time which would make that difficult to dodge in a bomberman game all you have to do is run around and hope that you're able to hit the cup king with three bombs and then the whole thing's over then you unlock the kick ability which is not one of the most useful ones in the entire game but it's definitely going to come in handy it allows the player to go up to a bomb press a button and then throw it to the other side of the room. It's definitely going to help with maneuverability and strategizing. It's a good way to get yourself out of corners that you might have stuck yourself in. You know, it's the first power-up that's finally going to give you some options. It's not going to be the most versatile, but I do appreciate that we're finally getting a leg up on the actual regular enemies of the game, rather than just having to be stuck with the same repertoire of bombs and bombs and bombs throughout the entire room runtime. Cup King, you know, it has a cute design. It's not really all that powerful. It's not really all that interesting. As you can see, my winning run, because doing the boss fights in this game, you are going to be dying repeatedly, 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 which is pretty good, considering that Wario Blast has no actual penalty for failure, so you're allowed to just do this as many times as you need to, which you are definitely going to need in the later bosses of the game. Cup King is the easiest that we're we are going to be seeing even though we're facing him with no power-ups. It's a definite good introduction, it's just not the most standout of bosses in the world, pretty average. I don't know how you could do this any better, but you know, it's a Game Boy Bomberman game so you really can't give it all that much credit. Sorry, 